Hey everybody, I'm John Bielfus, the executive chef of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse uh, here in the heart of Cajun Creole cooking in America, Owasso, Michigan. Uh, today I'm going to just do a real short video here for you. This is the easiest bread recipe I've ever seen. Bread, I made one for Morgan yesterday and she said, oh, you got to make a tape of that. So here's that video and let's have some fun. And here's everything you're going to need to make this awesome bread. I have uh, four cups of bread flour. Again, I, you could use all-purpose flour. It works just fine. I have two and a quarter teaspoons of dry active yeast, which is uh, what's in one packet, if you've got packets. One teaspoon of kosher salt. Two tablespoons of olive oil. One and one half cup of water between 105 and 110 degrees. That's the most important part. The only thing you can screw up is have the water too hot or too cold to dissolve the yeast. And one six ounce pour of a good dry Chianti. And the first step is we're gonna take our one and a half cups of water at 110 degrees. And we're gonna mix into that our two and one quarter teaspoons of dry active yeast. Just gonna whisk that in. And we're going to add to that one and a half cups of our bread flour. Mix that in good. Along with our two tablespoons of olive oil. Our one teaspoon of kosher salt. And we're going to just mix that all around together. Make sure we got anything that's stuck up on the sides here. Uh, one little trick that I always do um, starting a bread is when I'm heating up that water, I heat it up the, uh, this bowl in the same temperature water so that that temperature would stay the same when we poured it in here. Now all we're going to do with that is we're going to let that sit for one half hour. So I'll let you in on a secret. This uh, rustic bread recipe we're making, I've done French recipes, you know, French dinners. And uh, if I'm doing a French dinner, I call this my rustic French bread. And if I'm doing an Italian dinner, I always call this my rustic Italian bread. You can be anything. I uh, tried once. They didn't buy it when I told them it was hillbilly bread. This has been about 25 minutes, and I've got about five minutes to go, but I just wanted to show you. You can see it's starting to bubble up. In another five minutes, we're going to take it over to the stand mixer. So that's been a half hour, and I've put it on the stand mixer. I'm now going to add my two cups of additional flour. Turn on the mixer. You can totally do this by hand without a stand mixer. You just have to knead it for eight minutes. With the stand mixer, stand mixer we're going to do four minutes. See that's come together nicely. We've just got about three more minutes to go. And we're coming up on about four minutes right now and the dough's looking about right. I've just turned this out onto a lightly floured table. I'm just going to form it into one loaf. We're going to score the top uh, so it'll split nicely and put it in the oven. I'm going to score the top of this. Now we go into a cold oven and let it rest for 15 minutes. Well now that's been about 15 minutes. We're going to turn the oven on at four and a quarter and that will be done in about 30 minutes. I'm going to set the timer for 20 just to get a good look at it at that time. And here we are about 22 minutes. It looks almost done. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes and we'll be good to go. Well, there we go, a nice loaf of rustic white bread. The best way to check that these are done is just give them a little thump on the bottom. If they sound hollow, they're done, but that's about the color it should be. Now we're going to let it rest on a rack for a good half hour before we cut into it. And I sure hope you enjoy. Well, there it is, beautiful loaf of rustic white bread. doesn't get any easier than that, and uh, so take some time, make it. Uh, you can come home and have this out of the oven in an hour and a half. Hard to beat that with making homemade bread. So thanks again for watching another exciting episode of Board Stiff in my closed restaurant. 
totally unprofessional videos which I It's French bread. It's Italian bread. It's Greek bread. It's freaking Wonder bread. <laughs>